The political terrain of a dull state has come alive as political parties employ different strategies to better their chances in the forthcoming governorship election in the state. The context appears to have shifted to social media platforms where supporters of the various political parties and their factions come up with different write-ups and pictures to project their interest in the election. The worrisome part of this development, however, is that some of the supporters have developed a penchant for circulating fake news on the social media platforms, apparently to confuse the public on some issues relating to the build-up to the governorship election. Anything that has the propensity to create misinformation is dangerous to the polity. It might create riots. It's happening now in those state politics, particularly with these preparations for 2020 gubernatorial elections. I'm a victim of it for fake news. Sometimes I see articles been published, purportedly written by me. With all the beauties of social media, especially the ease of transmitting information, projects and programs, exhibition and all that, one of the worst things, elements or, you know, evil elements have done is to hijack social media as an instrument for the, you know, the bet, fertilization and circulation of fake news. People need to know the truth about what is going on to know the truth about the the, the the candidates and all that. But social media comes around to praise somebody who is not really okay and bring down somebody who is doing the right thing. So for the election, for the populace, it's not a good, it won't help the populace. What they are trying to do is to divide the people's attention from the reality to their ugly doings. So it pays me if our youth because of money, you see the truth, you cannot come out with the truth. What then is way out of this disturbing trend, which appears to be threatening to erode the credibility of the social media platforms as a viable source of information? There is the need for fake news to be stymied as much as possible, and it should be punished as brutally as humanly permissible. People must refrain from circulating yet to be authenticated news. What we should do, for example, is when you have messages on your WhatsApp, on your FaceTime, and these are anonymous people that you don't know. You read, you digest, you verify before you share it to other people. The main report should be from journalists, not on necessary blogs. Journalists should be well informed of what is happening, so any information from blogs, from all sorts of uh, mediums should not be accepted. The Adult State Governorship election has been fixed for September 19, and the twists and turns in the political terrain are expected to be more intense in the coming days. The thought on the mind of the citizens, however, is that supporters of the various political parties should shun fake news and protect the credibility of the news mail. Adesua, Irina High, reporting.